Okay. So we're just spray painting a, uh, a wooden chair for my friend. And, um, whoa. <laughs> I didn't see the rooster was right over here. Anyway, um, just spraying it with a typical can of spray paint. You get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's already been uh, shook up. And so now I'm just going to start. Now, the surface should be clean, um, dust free, and uh, also sanded down, scuffed up, so that the uh, so that the new paint will stick to the surface. If you see, uh, anytime you're applying a finished material, even paint itself, it has to go on to a surface that is is not completely smooth. That it's porous enough where you can't see it, but it's por porous enough whereby whatever you're putting onto it sucks into it and grips on. Okay, let's see. Anyway, I used a hand masker to put what you're seeing there in the middle is tape. So I, I, I used an X-Acto knife and I cut around just making sure that the wicker is covered. You don't want to go too crazy. As soon as you leave this in the, the same place too long, you're going to start dripping. Less is better. Steady stroking back and forth. You're going to come back to it. really working against the wind here. So I'm accommodating the wind so I'm, I don't want the, uh, the wind blowing the paint away from it. I'm using the wind to blow the paint onto it. But ideally you have no wind. But when you got to work every day you kind of got to go with what you got, you know. Keep the spray can moving. You won't see the dripping until you did it, you've, you've done it too long. The crazy dog is barking at the rooster and the chicken. So that's what's going on over there. Sorry. Not the easiest thing to do, especially when you got a little wind. The most important thing here is keep that can moving. You can always come back and put another coat. What you don't want to do is put too much. The reason why people mess this up is they just go too much at the, the first time and then you got dripping and then it's a mess. Just take your time. If you start getting dizzy, it means that you're high. This stuff is flammable and it gives you, uh, you know, headaches and stuff. Y you have to read the, uh... ideally I should have a mask on with a cartridge filter, but um, since I'm, I'm talking, it's not ideal, but you should put a mask on.
Now, when do you take the tape off? You should take it off right away. If you don't, the tape will cause what's called a bridging effect, bridge, whereby the paint will get stuck to both the tape and the wooden surface as well, and then you have this bond between both surfaces. You take your tape off and it rips off the paint. Less likely with oil-based paint, more likely with latex, but it could still happen with oil. Now, you know when you're done with a can of uh, spray paint and you didn't finish the can at all, you know, like you still have a lot of paint left in it, do you know what to do in order to preserve the paint in that can? So I'm gonna go through this whole can, but some of this stuff is expensive. So let's say you have, you only went through like a minute of spraying, you still, you need a little more paint, you didn't need the whole can, and you have like 80% of it still. What you do is you turn it upside down, you spray it like this. Now there's a straw in here. As soon as all of the paint in the straw gets out, it's gonna come out clear, you turn it back side up and you just clean off the tip with a Q-tip or something like this with a little uh, mineral spirits, and you will have, a, you like those muscles? I saw them. You'll have a nice clean, you'll have a nice clean tip, and you won't be wasting your money by throwing out a nice full can of paint. Coming out real nice. The wind is not helping this one, believe me. I'm going to take you over here in a little while, very shortly, show you how we did. This is one of the hardest parts of painting. You know why? It's one of those applications with which most people are unfamiliar, that is spraying. A lot of people can use a paintbrush or a roller, but this is something that you don't do but once in a while, you know? And for that reason, you have to take your time and kind of go, less is more in this case, okay? Less is more. Coming out real nice. I'm gonna need another can. Oh, this is coming out beautiful. This chair is for my godson. And it's about time I got it done for him, you know? He's gonna love it. I was starting to think by the time I get it done, he'll be too big to sit in it. But uh, I decided I gotta get this done for the little guy. Very nice. Keep the thing moving. You're supposed to keep it about, ah, oh, I just got a little saliva on it. I spit on it. You're supposed to keep the thing move, uh, 12 inches away. But when you're dealing with wind, you, you'll get the idea. You'll know what to do. It doesn't have to be 12 inches away. And if you got wind, obviously, because if you hold it too far away, you won't be able to get any paint on it. We're just about at the end of this can here. Now you gotta be careful because she starts spitting. She's gonna be pulling up oxygen out of that can and it isn't worth it at the end. Okay, this is done. Now let me show you how beautifully I did it. Because I do love my work. All right, let's take you around here. Come on, 10, how do you like that? 
Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You know? And that's just two coats of paint. That's two coats. I mean, you saw me spraying one, but you think it's one, but I actually put, that's two coats. You know, I went around it twice. Don't forget. Now those little nooks and crannies on the bottom are obviously, um, you know, we gotta do a little more. And we're not gonna do that. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn that chair upside down and we're gonna do the rest of it. And it's gonna look gorgeous. I'll show you the finished product. And if you like this video, click on like, please, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you, I'll see you on the, I said, well, thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Okay.